booty and bread. You heard me right, booty and bread. Today's episode of the Girlfriend Experience TV is all about how to spot a hobo sexual. Welcome back to the Girlfriend Experience TV where we give you the advice, knowledge, and support you need to live your best life. I'm your host, I'm your girl, Jamie Drew, and I'm here to give you the scoop, girl, okay? So before I move on any further, please hit that subscribe button because if you're watching me and you're not subscribed, then you know you're wrong. So let's get right into this. Booty and bread. How to spot a hobosexual. Okay. First of all, for those who don't know, let's just go ahead and define what a hobosexual is. Now, from the term, you may be able to kind of put together what it is. You already know what a hobo is, right? A bum, a homeless person, whatever you want to call it. Sexual, okay, everybody knows what that's all about. And if you don't know what sexual means, then you, you're too young to be on my channel, okay? So, a hobo sexual is somebody who gets in relationships, situationships, to be able to mooch off of that person, to be able to live off of that person, live off of that person's finances. So, you might be being used for booty and bread. Or you might be using somebody else for booty and bread. You might be the hobosexual. I don't know who's watching me right now. It could be one of either one of y'all. So in this video, I'm gonna give you, you know, just a scoop on how to spot a hobosexual, how to know if you are being used for your place to live, your finances, or your booty, okay? <laughs> so, we already said a hobosexual is somebody who's using you for the situation. Now, here is a foolproof way, and I really don't even need to give you, oh, uh, tip number one, tip number two, tip number three. I don't have to do that. The main way you can tell that somebody is using you for your living space is that they ain't got no job, okay? That's number one. If you have somebody that's living with you in your home and they don't have a job, then it's likely that they are using you for booty and bread, a hobosexual, okay? So I know everybody falls on hard times, okay? But just how long are you gonna let that excuse roll? You've been unemployed for six months, what are you doing? Because I always say, if you don't have a job, then your job is to get a job, okay? So eight hours a day while I'm at work, eight hours a day, you need to be looking for work. You know, people want to give those those sob excuses. Oh, well, I've been looking. Well, how hard have you been looking when you don't have a job for six months' time? See, there's some people who think that they are too good for certain jobs. And when you don't have a job and you're living off of someone else, then you can't make excuses about not working or not having a job. There's people out there that, you know, refuse to work in fast food. Oh, I'm not going to work at Wendy's. I'm not going to work at McDonald's. I'm worth more than that. Well, right now you're worth zero, boo-boo. So I think you better get out there and get something in the meantime. That that really, you know how on um on Family Guy when they're like, that really grinds my gears. Well, it really grinds my gears to hear people talking about the bullshit ass reasons why they are unemployed. Okay, we grown here. You know, I had to just throw a little, just get a little punch, throw a little cursor it out to you. You know what I'm saying? But when you are sitting around every day doing nothing, what is your excuse? Okay. I mean, I will make an exception for people who have children who are not school aged, okay? So if you're in the house, you're taking care of the kids, your kids are not school aged, you're there all day, then okay, I'll make an exception for you. That is a pretty hefty job. But with that being said, best believe if you got somebody that's out there working, and normally this is a 
female at home, male in the work situation. So I'll just talk about it like that and use those genders. But just know it can be flipped, okay? Normally, you have a female home taking care of the kids and then the male outside working, okay? So if your guy is out working all day long, well, then guess what? You work in the home. You are a home manager. Did you do your job today? Okay. Is the house clean? Are the dishes washed? Are the kids bathed? Do you have dinner on the table? Okay. These are some things that are part of your job description as a home manager. So if you're the person that's working outside of the home, if they come home to a dirty house, dirty dishes, dirty kids, you still in your night clothes, then I, you're fired as a home manager. I can't call you a home manager. You're sitting around and guess what? You're a hobosexual. Yes, you are. You're just, you're not doing your part. I'll just put it like that, okay? So if you have somebody sitting around doing all of that, then they just may be using you for your income, okay? They may be using you. There's a lot of people that stay in relationships because they can't afford to leave. They can't afford to get an apartment on their own. They can't afford to go and take care of their kids on their own. Or they're just too lazy. They don't want a job, it's easier, or they're they, they a hustler, you know? You see those guys that are like, you ask them, well, what do you do? Well, I, I get money. Okay, well, how, you know? Selling things out of the back of your trunk doesn't count, okay? So beware of these signs. Really, it's just one main sign. If the person is not working and not doing anything else with their life, don't let them linger on and on and on and on and on and on, okay? Because in the end, if you keep allowing them to do that, then you're the dummy. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. And love ain't enough to take care of a household. So you need to reconsider and think about this person that you really love and what it is that you really love about them and how are they contributing to the relationship and the success of the relationship and the management of the home. So take a look in the mirror because some of you watching this video you either are a hobosexual or you're taking care of a hobosexual. So I know you've heard that saying, I can do bad all by myself. So in 2020, it might be time to clip those ends, get rid of that dead weight, cut your losses and say goodbye, okay? Because when you have somebody that's staying in your home that is not working, guess what? You have another child. You do. Especially if that person's not doing anything around the house, not contributing at all. Sitting around playing video games. Okay? Going, hanging out with friends. Okay? You know, that doesn't make any sense. You know, in, in my capacities through counseling and mentoring people, I've actually been in situations where a woman will be on some sort of public assistance for her housing and the guy that's maybe not even supposed to live there may be hiding in the closet when I came over, is not working, is not contributing to the household, house is filthy, both of y'all sitting around not doing nothing, sitting around smoking weed all day, sitting around getting pregnant again and again and again and again and again and again. So if this is stinging a little bit, then I'm talking about you and I'm sorry. But it's 2020 now. It's time to clean up your life. It's time to cut some loose ends, let some people go. And guess what? If you are the hobosexual, then you better look like hustling up a job because if my girl is watching this video, then she might just wise up and kick you to the curb, okay? But you can go, there's all kind of websites out there now because if you watching me on this screen, 
then that means that you know how to go online and find a job, okay? So go ahead and make it do what it do. In 2020, don't be out there trying to get booty and bread. Unless you're worth it. Unless you're contributing something to the package, okay? So that's it. As always, to find out everything girlfriend experience related, head over to us on the web at www.thegirlfriendexperience.org. Check us out. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the thumbs down button if you didn't like it. And make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it with somebody, okay? All that. And there's going to be some videos. Let me see. Is it going to be on my left or my right? Subscribe here. Watch my video there. Okay? <laughs>